Good morning. Look at this place. You may ask me, where are you? Standing in front of nowhere. Well, I can tell you, I'm standing at a place where dream begins from. For decades, the Indonesian people have been yearning for a high-speed train to quicken their long, tedious journey and save them from the traffic jam nightmare. <sighs> well, with the construction of the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Railway, that dream will come true. Upon completion, China's Renaissance High Speed Train will run at 350 kilometers per hour and shorten the 142 kilometer journey between Jakarta and Bandung from four hours to astonishing 36 minutes. <sighs> it's just like you hop on the train and before you know it, boo, you need to hop off the train. While inspecting this tunnel number one construction site in East Jakarta just a couple of days ago, Indonesian Minister of State-Owned Enterprises pledged her country's full backing to the project. Since China and Indonesia established comprehensive strategic partnership in 2013, the bilateral trade and commercial cooperation have witnessed a boom. The mutually beneficial cooperation has covered many areas, including infrastructure, trade and commerce, investment, finance and e-commerce, especially infrastructure. A few days ago, we visited the landmark Suramadu Bridge across the Madura Sea and Jadigada Dam in West Java and were amazed by their sizes and popularity among locals. The nearly 5,500 meter Suramadu Bridge, the largest cross-sea bridge in Indonesia, is called the Bridge of People's Livelihood by locals, as it paves way for Madura people's transportation, attracts more commodities to flow between the islands of Java and Madura, and fattens local people's purses. The Jadigeta Dam, on the other hand, acts as the tamer of the ferocious Simanuk River, changing West Java people's lifestyle of depending on the mercy of nature to grasping their own destiny. With a height of 110 meters and a length of 1,670 meters, the Jadigeta Dam boasts a storage capacity of over 1 billion cubic meters and can irrigate 90,000 hectares of farmland. Not only does it protect the region from being flooded by the Simanuk River, the dam also serves as the heart of irrigation, power generation, fishing and sightseeing. Chinese President Xi Jinping held two projects during his visit to Indonesia in 2013. On the same occasion, he proposed to build the Grand Maritime Silk Road of the 21st century with Indonesia and other ASEAN countries. To follow up, the two countries have been actively docking the initiative with Indonesia's Global Maritime Fulcrum Vision a focus of Chinese Premier Li Keqiang's ongoing visit to the Southeast Asian nation. Well, seeing is believing. By witnessing so many iconic projects and their huge benefits to the people, there's no reason not to believe the China-Indonesia bond will be tighter than before and the hearts of the two peoples will be closer than ever.